What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Abracadabra, ding, ding, da, bing, ding, da, boop, boop. I like the I like the immediate stop, full stop. But I'm also I really like Abara. Yeah, it's not not Abba. No, it's Abara Kadabara. <laughs> no, that was great. You got to get the cadence. Yes, I thought I, it started better than finish. Listen, so I, did everybody. I <laughs> think a lot of people, if they wanted, could say super mean things there. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. 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 I actually yeah, loved yeah. it. Good. I actually yeah. really did enjoy that one. So thank you, Andy. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. That's right. That's right. Welcome to the Spitballers, <laughs> episode two hundred five. Happy to be with you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting the show. Yeah, we appreciate. We're it. We're making magic on today's episode. Well, clearly, Abracadabra. Abra. <laughs> yeah, distant connection between our draft topic. Uh, we are drafting wishes from a genie. So we'll see how um, selfish, selfless, integrious we are as we draft wishes. Powerful. A genie. Powerful. Uh, would you rather? That's a great question as well on the show today at Spitballers Pod on Twitter. Thank you for listening, and hopefully we are making this moment in your life just a little bit more ridiculous. Yeah. Isn't that really what we do? Yeah, because we want life to be better for you, and I feel like... The best life is the ridiculous life. Yeah, uh, I'm now being flooded with all the things wrong with Aladdin. Uh huh. Because you, you, you reminded me of the genie, right? And it was like the whole entire. You're talking about the cartoon I'm Aladdin. Ta- I'm talking yeah. about yeah, just the 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 story of Aladdin. We could, we could go the live version. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But like, the whole thing kind of kicks off with Princess Jasmine goes out to see the city, and she sees like, dude, it is. Apparently, when you get out of the palace, it is tough in the streets. Yeah, and then they're like, "Yeah, the genie's free. <laughs> we don't. We're not going to fix any of these socioeconomic situations going on here in Agrabah. But the genie's free, so you know that's a win. What, did, what, could never <laughs> what does the genie do? Uh, I know part two went straight to video. Does he like solve all of society's ills? Oh, at that point, he better. He's got the power. No, but he doesn't have to anymore. No, of course well, not. Out of the goodness of his genie heart. Yeah, but I mean, after you're free, you still got genie powers, right? Yes, you do. So I know he was going to take a vacation, but I think in the second movie, he comes back and fixes all the hunger and stuff. I think he fights Jafar. Oh. Unless the second okay. movie is the vacation, which I would be all about watching that. Like genie goes to Disneyland? Uh, all I'm saying is I like Genie a good, takes a cruise? I like a good <laughs> vacation. Right. But if I could take a vacation... And I was a genie. That yeah. would be one awesome vacation. He's J- Jason's his first wish today: Carnival Cruise. Yeah. Uh, mm. As a genie. Sorry, I mean, sorry. Royal point. Caribbean thank, thank Cruise. You, thank you. Thank um, you. All right. We- <laughs> oh man, is that? Did you speak an unspeakable? Yeah, uh, cruise I didn't. Line? I didn't name a, a rich man cruise. I mean, I'm just saying, if it's a genie wish, I'm not going. <laughs> not going to stoop too low. Well, you're not even going to go Disney. Oh, sure, Disney's great. They just, they, you know, they don't have a casino. So it's oh, kind of, kind of a don't. problem for for the grown-up cruise Hold on, life. Th- this is true? Disney Cruise Lines do not have a casino. Little Which, known fact, they got casinos on land. You can just go drive right down to them. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. don't got to go on the ocean for They them. don't put a casino in there. Huh? No, they don't. No, in they the don't. Disney Cruise? I'm yeah. not surprised. <laughs> it wasn't one of the things that Aladdin wished for. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Aladdin. <laughs> We didn't want to help people either. Okay, I got to add to my list here. Okay, <laughs> casino Casinos. on a cruise. <laughs> Um, I'm, I think if you dig into Disney movies and kids movies in general, you're not going to find a lot of the main characters and storylines oh. focusing on the outside world, Mike. I get it. And, and I know people have thought about this, too, of like, okay, well, how do you let the genie go when you could just like, okay, Jasmine could get three wishes. The the Sultan can get three wishes. Like you could just just pass the bottle. You could just go along the line and then still at the end, the, 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 the final wish is the genie is, is free and he's no longer, uh, like owned. He's the, there is no master. But I mean, was you could still because oh, you're passing it between each yes. other. Yes, yeah. Everyone gets three yeah. wishes. Mike, you just rub the lamp now. Watch this. Yeah. Take two, <laughs> then give it to Andy for two. Yeah, I mean, then the genie's getting pretty used. Well, that's what his job is. Yeah, it's it's probably at least a forty hour work week. It's thing. a tiny little living space. Yeah, 
but a phenomenal cosmic powers. All right, we're moving on. Would you rather? All of our wishes are going to just be to become genies. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, ourselves. Like, I say all those things, and then what I'm drafting here is, yeah. I'm not. You're not fixing any socioeconomic problems. I'm, well, I mine. <laughs> all right kane from twitter would you rather have a neighbor that cuts down trees every night every night at 11 p.m or a neighbor that launches fireworks every morning at 6 a.m which okay we were literally yes mike brought up that his neighbor was doing yard work at what 6 7 p.m it, it was 5 30 p.m 5 30 yes okay on sunday okay i like that you keep adding this on so like in the conversation we were having it was the fact that it was Sunday at 5 p.m. Now, I'm not sure why that makes it any worse than a Tuesday at 5 p.m. or any day at 5 p.m. I mean, look, look to me, Arizona, it's 115, 116 during the yeah. day right now. Doing yard work during that time of day, not possible. So you've got two choices. You can do it at 5.30 p.m. when the sun's – well, it's not really down, yeah, is it? I was going to say later than I mean, that. It's not even, yeah, it'd be later. He's nice for doing it at 5.30 instead of 7.30. Or you do it in early morning. In early morning, you get woken up. That's like this question here. Fireworks at 6 a.m. Or yeah. you do it at night when it's you tr cutting down the trees at 11 p.m. I, I just don't know what you want this guy to do, no, Mike. Hold on. Can what do you I, want him to do? Can I go backwards here a little bit? Because this question is all wrong. Okay, um, reverse so engineering. It is, so this question says, the neighbor cuts down trees every night at 11 p.m. How many or trees launches does this person Fireworks have? at 6 a.m. You want to reverse them? That, I mean, it doesn't make sense to launch fireworks in the morning, in the daytime, when you can't see them. I mean, and who's cutting down trees at night when you can't see where they're going to fall? I feel like, don't you cut down the trees at 6 a.m. and launch fireworks at 11 p.m.? You can do. go that direction. We, we could, but then it's, I mean, maybe that's part of the, the process of the question. Is well, it, it is just, dangerous to cut down trees at 11 p.m. It's more disruptive in either of these situations. The fireworks are, are probably much more disruptive because it's your neighbor. So the fireworks are going to be much louder. They're going to be more pulsier. You're not going to get that droning. You cut a tree down, you get some drone. But it also, I can sleep to some droning. Like, but well, hold on. But it's quicker. Like the fireworks, they're going to, you know, oh, that, they'll be over. You know that at uh, New Year's Eve at midnight will be the, the bulk of them. And then you'll have like the really like the cool people. They save their M80s to go off at two in the morning. Like just want to drive home how cool those people are. Don't get me started on firing your fireworks on July 3rd and the 5th because you got you got so many you start early and you got too many so you do some late. Uh, yeah. First of all, Al, are these happening for the same duration? No. No, I would say the fireworks are probably shorter. But okay. that's what it's like. But but a firework, if it goes off at 6 a.m., are you going back to sleep? Yes. <laughs> you can get back to sleep after being woken up? If it's quick. Is this... Uh, I mean, it's not just quick though. It's an explosion where you it's five are five minutes. Your your body is now full of of cortisol. Hmm. I also true. I did the question did seem backwards, but I left it intentionally because I figured if the fireworks are at night, there's upside to being able to go outside and watch the fireworks. So oh, okay. to pull out that upside, I well, there it. is upside to going and watching your neighbor cut down a tree at 11 p.m. <laughs> 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 I mean, depending on how like you know. How risky he is. <laughs> well, it's just like how demented if, if like you want to see a man fail. Can I ask the question to Mike, though? Because you. I'm here. You were here. Yeah. And not related to spitballers at all. You were not happy about it. You no. were so unhappy that a man like yourself who, who barely speaks brought it up. Yes. As an issue. Because. Look, so tell me when he was supposed to be doing this yard work. Well, here's. I'll just. I'll start with the time of day. It was. Okay. It was five or five thirty. All right. On Sunday. This. This is. This is dinner time. This is prime. Okay. Like you go, you can go. We were, uh, my family was out in the pool. That's how I know that this person was doing their yard work because it was, it's extremely loud. What is going, what is going on with these yard tools? Where are the scientists on us getting us silent yard tools? First okay. of all, <laughs> all right. that's, fair. that's a fair question. Thank you. But like, I mean, it's, this is, this is the, the time where if you're we're talking gonna, weed whacker, we talking blower. What are th we talking? This was, I think he was trimming trees. So right. it would, like a chainsaw. Yeah. So it was a uh, responsible a, homeowner. Got it. Not a chainsaw, but a uh, just a cutter of some. Owl. Kind. What are those called? What are those cutter electric cutters? Not called? a chainsaw though. One like, like a hedge trimmer. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a hedge trimmer. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you just got owned. Uh, and it was just. I mean, this is the time that if you're going to go outside and have like a barbecue or do something with your family, 
You're going out at dinner time. This is where the Sunday thing comes in. Yes, and mm. I, I I understand if the yard work is it has to be done. There are small windows to do it in. Perhaps the work schedule only allowed this. That, that's not going to stop me from complaining about it. Now, when do I want it to be done? Do that while I'm at work, because then I don't have to deal with any of the sound repercussions of you doing your yard. So, okay, so do it while yes. you're. But check with you for your schedule. Of course. Because and your kids aren't loud in the pool, right? I mean, they're pretty quiet. Well, they're of course they're loud, but they are children. So what if the kids were the ones doing the yard work? What if his kids were doing the yard work? If if the sound of the children is enough to drown out the sound of the tools, then I think we're okay. Okay, well, so I let's, don't get mad at other people's let's kids take these for being two loud. Questions together and say what is worse, uh, neighbor noise stopping your sleep or right. neighbor noise stopping your uh barbecue Sleep. no no uh, like your 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 family fun was interrupted i got gotcha. that better or is that worse than your sleep being interrupted i i would say that the i i think it's the family time because like you have like if you're doing that you've had it scheduled you knew it was coming up and you have multiple people who are being affected by the, it's the actually loud sound. interesting because i am committed to not being on any sort of Mike's side on this, mm -hmm. to be clear. <laughs> yeah, no, not I, even, I, not even a, just a notion, right? Right. But I, I feel like you're about to be on Mike's side here. I did start to think about a slight variation to Mike's scenario. Now, Mike's obviously wrong here, and you know this this poor man, he, he had no option but to do it. But if I was having an organized, I looked at this tree. It did. It, it was. It not didn't a, need it. It was not. All in, right, that's. It was not a dire situation. That's fair. But if I had an organized barbecue. And I had invited a bunch of people over mm -hmm. at 5.30 p.m. on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we were all enjoying ourselves. And then, Free! like, some heavy yard work was going on. I would be a little like, Free! well, gee darn. Why is that <laughs> happening? I feel like I could talk over the sound <laughs> of, no, you of, can't. of those machines. We could be out there. We could be shouting and but yelling. But there's dust going but up in the air. But that's the issue. What if he's just blowing a bunch of stuff over into your yeah. yard? You got your grill open. You're trying to cover your birds. You've already cheesed them, and now here come all the the croppings of the tree just <laughs> flying over into your yard, <laughs> into the pool. <laughs> the croppings. I love it. What would you do? This is a little bit of a sidebar here. What would you do? If you hear all the all the sounds of landscaping going on, and you're just sitting in the backyard really annoyed, but then you look over and two hands with a bucket just <laughs> yes. reach over your yard and dump and just dump all <laughs> dump all the clippings in your yard. I, I feel like I would without Were you being gonna able to it? without being able to control myself, I would be sprinting to that wall. I've got to catch him in the you know what I mean? Like I can't let him get back inside before this happens. I've got to run him lock eyes incredulously and say what was that all about i don't even know how you deal with a situation that is that absolutely ridiculous like if let's say you have a perfect spotless neighbor everything they do is good and fine and right and they're not a problem but when they mow their lawn they always dump the clippings over your fence oh, how do you stop that, that you can't I, stop it i think that is now the worst neighbor <laughs> ever and like, you can't call the police on that right oh I, I Probably not. I mean, they're going to waste their time. They're going to say, don't call us. Yeah. And so they say, don't call us. So how do you stop somebody from doing that? I guess you just get in a war of throwing it back and <laughs> yes, forth. Yeah, you do you throw your dog poop over to their fence? Oh, you darn right I do. I sit my dog up on the fence and I hold him until he craps <laughs> straight into their yard. I mean, I'm, I'm squeezing the bowels, get every drop has, out. Has anybody in here been in a neighbor war before? Oh, a neighbor war. Not me. I've had one sort of. Where it was, for whatever reason, my so my wife was pregnant with our first child. She needed her sleep, so I was extra sensitive to sleep disruption for her. And we just had a neighbor that was like a young, young kid, 20-something, parties until 4 in the morning. Yeah, okay. And so I had to do, like one time I literally walked over there at 3.30 in the morning, and their truck in the driveway, there's no one awake. Their truck in the driveway is jamming music with no one in it. <laughs> I'm is not even on? kidding. Like, yeah, is, it was is on. The engine running? Yes, it's on. I'm to this day. I couldn't see in the windows right, so I'm I'm thinking someone's hiding in there, jamming this music out in the middle of the night. But I had to go over there enough times to where, like, eventually I secretly called. Oh, called, called a noise. I don't think it was secret. <laughs> but, yeah. but but the neighbor across the street was so mad he did not call the police. What he would do is he would get his Harley Davidson 
and at five in the morning oh my would go goodness. out in front of his house and rev it for like three or four minutes oh, and then go to work. Neighbor wars, so man. So passive aggressive. And I, I, st- I remember like a Disney show where, where it was uh, Goofy and who's the uh, Goofy? What, Pete? Pete. And they were in a neighbor war mm. and building the fence higher, all of that stuff. So, but, I mean, that would just be so ba- I'd want to move. The, would any of you just move? But then you've lost. You've lost the neighbor. Yeah. The ru- per the rules of Whoever, neighbor war. Yep. Whoever stays longer wins. The closest I've ever gotten is it was not so much a war, but a few confrontations of we had, um, you know, like the, the laser decorations for the holidays, right? And, you know, the, so like Christmas, you get yeah. the, the green and red lasers. and That project and, up on your house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, this perhaps it's a point in this person's favor. I don't know, but it, it doesn't to me. They were out front in my house for much longer than Christmas. They were not on. So it's not like it's the middle of February and I still have Christmas They're just still They're just in there. the ground. Yes. Got it. And You just hadn't pulled them up. Yes. I had, I had not put them away. I was being, uh, being a little bit lazy. And the timing of this is very funny. Of I had just put up a Nest camera you know, to like the front door camera situation, check everything out. Like literally the day or two before I put this thing up, then all of a sudden our things have disappeared. Ooh. And it's like, wait, did we catch this on the camera? And partially we did. <laughs> now, it, unfortunately, where oh, the, no. it's night vision and where the camera was, you couldn't see. You could see like the, 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 uh, the perp's legs. And they <laughs> had a particular dog that had a limp. And oh, come on. <laughs> come so, on. So we are easily able to identify. You're looking for limpy dogs? Who this person was. Can and I this, see your dog take a little walk, so please? This person henceforth became known as Bob the Robber amongst me and the family. Oh, my gosh. And, but, like, I mean, we got in a few confrontations with of, like, me driving away, rolling down my window, be like, hey, I know it was you. Oh, I no. want my stuff back. For and real? If, yeah, and it, Cause, dude, Did you the, get it back? No, we never Damn. got it back. It was, he was in full denial that it was ever him, but by the video evidence, it was ninety nine point nine percent him. There's nothing conclusive enough that I could like go, you know, get police and stuff going on. But like, we know it was him. Now, and as soon as he was confronted, his walking path of his dog mysteriously changed and he no longer came through our neighborhood interesting interesting now you started this by saying maybe it's a point in their favor that that i have my stuff out too long okay so if it's out too long you just you can steal it it. it. i'm I'm just saying like someone getting mad but i wanted to to specify it was out there but not on okay okay well um i'm i'm gonna go ahead and take the trees one (laughs) <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, me too. Those, All those right. Are question here. Art from Patreon. Would you rather have access to a library that has every book ever written or oh, man. a museum that has every dinosaur bone ever discovered? Okay. So unlim- almost unlimited knowledge, but you have to read it. So very limited. <laughs> very, okay. very so limited very limited knowledge. for some of us. So in both cases, I do not feel like the quantity... He's giving me a great advantage. Like, I can appreciate a museum with some dinosaur bones. But if it has every dinosaur bone ever discovered, do I know enough about dinosaur bones to understand the nuance between... I don't need 50 Tyrannosaurus skeletons to appreciate it. Now... I appreciate one. So why do I need them all? Why does quantity matter? Could actually be a problem. Yeah, it could be an issue. I got to sift through them. I would imagine that every dinosaur... You're just giving them out. Every dinosaur bone that has (laughs) ever been discovered... That has to be an enormous amount. Yeah, yeah. You, it's a lot of a lot of bones. And and can we like, if we have them, can we at least make sure that they're all accurately put together? Right. Or is that not part? It's just you just have all just the a bones. pile of bones. <laughs> because uh, not no, an it's archaeologist. A nice museum. I, I think we'll go with their built. But okay. I mean, you got you're gonna have rooms with like, boy, I don't another mammoth, another mammoth. Dinosaurs are so cool. Man. Yeah, but super like, cool. What's the most commonly found dinosaur? Oh, skeleton. that's an interesting question. You know what I mean? I do not know. I will look that up. Find out what dinosaur has the most it was findings. the dino rats. All the dino rats. <laughs> yeah, because it's like if if there's if there's a hundred of those that are found or whatever, would you really need, uh, to Andy's point, like would you want like a hundred? You know, it's yeah. like in the books, they're all different. 
Yeah. You don't have a hundred copies of, you know, Mark Twain. You you just have one but, of everything. But you're certainly not reading every book. No. So, I mean, having the quantity, it's like, to me, if I go into a library, like any library right now, I'm like, that's enough books. Like, I've got enough in here. I don't need to, I don't need every you, book ever You're written. saying you've never gone into a library and thought, man, I wish they had a couple more books in Exactly. Here. And it's over. It's like the Netflix problem. Yeah. Where you're like, I, what am I going to watch? And the thing that you actually watch is you looking for something to watch for 20 to 25 minutes before you go, eh, I guess I'm tired. If you had said, would you rather have access to a library that has a few books you'd like to read, <laughs> I might actually pick that one. <laughs> You can do that right now. Well, sure, but I'm just saying, like, curated. <laughs> you literally have access to libraries. They are. Well, I'm saying, if it's just a few books, you could buy the books. Breaking news, everybody. Okay. Apparently, the Triceratops is the most discovered oh. uh, dinosaur I mean, skeleton. It's, that's it's, great news. It's that, sweet. That was my favorite they that's the, a good dinosaur one. growing up. Were they the kind of like the buffalo of the plains for the dino era? With three horns. Right, obviously. Yeah. So how many? Do we know how many they, they have found of the Triceratops? I don't know how many, but they they estimate that they were the uh, 40% of dinosaurs were Triceratops. 40%? That's a what? bad estimation. That's a, multiple that's a, sources are saying it. I don't know. Multiple dummies. Of like all dinosaurs or just a particular? Triceratops is the most common dinosaur at 40%. So here's the two theories behind that. Number one. There were 12 the, dinosaurs. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Number one is that. The Triceratops, they were just the supreme species. You, you didn't come at them. You didn't eat them. So there's lots of them because they got the horns, right? Right. And so they just dominated the plains. The other option is that they have the most dense, salvageable bones yep. possible. That's it. Where you just find them because they don't disintegrate. They're yeah. just like power that's, bones. That's clearly it. I mean, nobody's really taking on rhinoceroses. There's not, that's not 40% of animals. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So. I feel like if you become 40%, you got to not only not be killed, but you got to be killing. Oh, for right? sure. Like a well, shark. They were killing the, it. Like a shark. Forty <laughs> percent of them. I mean, but they got to be going out, clearing out the other animals to get to their forty percent. They were herbivores, right? Yeah, which is the problem. Wait, they were just. herbivores? Did they kill for sport? They weren't well, omnivores. Maybe. I think they. No, were. Triceratops were not omnivores. I'm surprised. I feel like you got three horns. You should. It's to protect no. yourself. Some meat. What do you think? What do you think the rhinos are doing? Eating a bunch of yeah. meat. Wait, yeah, right? they're not omnivores. No. Rhinoceroses only eat plants. Yes, as far as I, dummies. How do you get that big eating only plants? That's what I'm talking about. Are there vegetarians yeah, I mean, onto something? <laughs> I mean, those, I mean, I guess elephants those things are yoked. Elephants are gigantic, and all they eat is plants. If you eat plants, 22 of your 24 hours of the day, solid. <laughs> eat plants, poop. Eat plants. That's their whole life. Interesting. Grow my horn a little longer. Eat plants. Now, at the very least here, before we answer this question, we can all agree that there was bad science. Like, this, that Triceratops the were 40%? not 40% oh, yeah, of all I'm dinosaurs. Throw, I'm throwing that out. No <laughs> chance. Yeah, I'm throwing what's, that out. What's the source on this? Dr. I'll, Seuss? I'll have to look no again. comment? Dr. Seuss? <laughs> it's the Triceratops Association of America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're putting out big, it's it's big, big Triceratops. It's big Triceratops for sure. <laughs> Oh. Maybe by weight, they're forty percent of all the weight of oh dinosaur bones. Gosh. Um, I, I guess I'll go the dinosaur route. Yeah, because yeah, I can gonna, go to a normal library. I'm happy. Absolutely, and and if if you can turn around and sell any of these, the bones are worth <laughs> oh, more. the black market for dinosaur bones would be huge. Well, well, the, especially because you'd have you'd, you'd have, have a monopoly. Yeah. So <laughs> they're they're very expensive now. Ah, but then you got every first edition of every book. That you, can, that you can go sell. I promise you, you if sell. I had all the dinosaur bones, it would be worth more than those I, first I editions. disagree. I think oh, first edition a, of books are worth way more than dinosaur bones. That's no an interesting way. question. Yeah. Those will uh, sell for cabillions. Cabillions? <laughs> Whoa. That's not even quantifiable. No. A cabillion. No. Uh, Gregory from Patreon, would you rather wake up to discover your kids have cut your hair into a mohawk? Okay. Or you wake up and you found out your kids have shaved off your eyebrows? So... I wake up, have super dope haircut, right, or no eyebrows, right? That is the question. So this, this is a tough one for Mike. How about uh, we go? Um, I mean, I've I've had a mohawk for many years of my life. Can I change mohawk to they sh they shaved your head bald? Sure. Let's yeah, change that, it. To that makes more sense because look, I don't have a lot of hair on these little cul de sac. You know the the yeah yeah the yeah. male pattern baldness. Yeah, his spots. kids shave it those areas every night. Yeah. <laughs> Right, but my point Just is like a, a little a, bit higher. A mohawk might look fine. You know what I mean? Like I, I can grow hair down the middle. 
a little. So better than theirs. So I think I think I could rock a Mohawk. Are you thinking about the Mohawk? Now? I'm thinking about the Mohawk now. I think that you know I've always said that I eventually I'm going to shave my head. Right. Yeah. But maybe I just shave the sides. You think George Costanza ever thought about the Mohawk? Well, he couldn't. Well, he had the exact yeah, he opposite. Yeah. Oh, he had an inverse. He had the sacks. skullet. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh, why don't people who have that style hair shave the back and just have like two side strips of hair? I think you've answered your question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty stupid. Um, <laughs> so wait, hold on, but let's okay, let's explore this. Uh-huh. So just two patches of hair on the sides. That's right. None on top. None on top. None on the back. None in the it's back. It's like a mohawk, but it's on the sides. Yeah, oh, like no, the, no, that was like uh, the rings of Saturn. That was. Uh, oh no, that doesn't go around the back. What's his butt? No hawk from a uh, uh, prodigy. Was that the name of the group? Who had who did Firestarter? Young man, that we prodigy we did not, did Firestarter. Yeah, yeah, we don't remember the oh, we don't remember '90s prodigy. Um, well, I haircuts. He and, and I believe it was called the Nohawk. So that's what it was. So one person did it. And um, you, you look like you're the leader of an EDM band. That's what would happen. Do people wear fake eyebrows? Yes. And could I cover up my issue with a fake eyebrows? Yeah, absolutely. You can cover it up. You can use makeup. You can. I mean. I, I, you know, pe- I would be more embarrassed with makeup eyebrows. I think pure makeup eyebrows. And I know, I know that's a thing, but I, when I see it, I laugh inside. Well, not like the tattooed eyebrows, no, but Dude, like the painted can, or the sharpie eyebrows. The sharpie eyebrows. The, the, but no, like the, the tattoo what, It's something blading. I'll microblading. For, microblading. Though they're doing, but those are actual eyebrows. I know they're, they take your eyebrows and then they tattoo, uh, to fill them to out, to fill it out. Those and are they're, good. They're doing really good work. In the can you do that on area. your head? Yes, you can. What? You can microblade? Yes. I can fill these cul-de-sacs can, in with microbladed I mean, love? Well, here's, or shoe polish. Here's the thing. It doesn't actually grow out into hair, so you would have to commit to just the the the, the shaved head where you have just a tiny bit of hair. Mm. Mm. Cause, <laughs> Never mind. Because it's just, it's just a, 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 some ink. I can wear a hat if my kids have shaved my head. That's true. And I, so I think I want that one. I think I'd go with that one. I could, I could chalk that one up to a bad, a failed experiment. If my, I would ki- say, yeah, I wanted to try it. If my yeah. kids came to me and genuinely said, "Hey, Dad, I think you look better bald," or "I want you to shave your head," if if I had the support of my children to shave my head, if I came home and they all really wanted it, I would come in here bald tomorrow, yeah. like without a. That's not even a joke. Really? I would. So it's you're you're waiting for the pressure from your children. I am waiting for the support of my family to say the time has come, uh, thinning hair man. I think just shave it. I think we can. Uh, I think we can. Make you can, this happen. <laughs> Andy. Between the two of us, I think we can make this happen. <laughs> the support can come from this table. How much? How much money you think? I mean, he's take? done it before. This is not <laughs> shocking to me. I think he. I think he was pretty content with before. Yeah, but then I see pictures later, and I'm like, oh, that did look bad. Right. So, <laughs> You know, it's one of those <laughs> tough things where oh, I, it's the worst. <laughs> where it's like, <laughs> I think you know, I, I I'm like, okay, I think I can pull off a bald head, and then I can't. So in retrospect, so in the moment when you were bald, did you feel better than after? Did you feel pretty good in the moment, like trying on a new? I feel like every time I turned around, I wasn't sure. Okay, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, this kind of no, no, it doesn't. You know, like, oh, this You're works. Like the kombucha lady. Yeah. Well, uh, final answers here, gentlemen. Uh, I will take the shaved head. I will take the shaved head. I'll take the shaved head as well. Life's best moments happen around a roaring fire, and a smokeless fire pit from Solo Stove makes your outdoor moments even more memorable because instead of having to constantly dodge campfire fumes, you can sit back, relax, and actually enjoy the fire. I Love my solo stove. I had it before they were even a sponsor on this podcast because my family, we love being outside around that fire, just sharing time with each other. But it was like you would have to put on different clothes to be around your campfire because, you know, afterwards you're going to stink and you're, and the smoke is in your eyes. And it's just you're like there's got to be a better way to do this. Well, I don't know. The geniuses over at Solo Stove, they figured it out because you have a wood-burning fire And the smoke is gone. It is magical. You have to check it out. I love my Solo Stove. And right now, you can get big discounts on all fire pits during Solo Stove's summer sale. Use the promo code BALLERS at solostove.com for an extra $10 off. That's solostove.com, 
promo code BALLERS for $10 off on top of their incredible summer sale discounts. That's a great question. When is art art? (laughs) And when is it just someone splattering paint on something? Oh, man. It's the great abstract question of the day. (laughs) Um, Eat it, Jackson Pollock. So You hack. So I, I will say something interesting that I discovered on this front because I get I get the criticism, right? It yeah. You see splattered paint and you go, a child could have done that. Uh-huh. So I, for whatever reason, about six months ago, I got caught up on uh, like Instagram reels. I started catching art ones, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People do an abstract, like an abstract algorithm was grabbing my feet. Mm-hmm. Is this where like they tie the paint bucket to a, Quarter. sure some of those yeah mm-hmm. uh, a lot of them were just fun to watch a lot of them were just abstract paintings and their final product or rapidly done or whatever and so it just it started to uh it catch my fancy so do you know what i did did you did buy some you art start i went out painting? i went out and purchased paints brushes oh whoa. canvases this is fun and uh we've uh, took took them uh took them into the art room you have an art room. Uh, well, well, now. Yeah. Right. Took them into an art room. And, um, you know, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did you give up? Uh, are, let me ask you this. Are you still paint? Are you working on one right now? No. Okay. So what were you? What were you? You were trying to go impressionist? Uh, what were you so, trying to do? So what I was doing is uh, I was trying to do some of these ones where the paint gets like poured and then like spread with various instruments. Okay. So you like pull it and, and push it around and it looks like the finished products that the real artists do. It looks very simple. It looks so simple. Sure. But it was not simple. It's like where you drop a drop and then you spread it uh-huh. and then you drop a drop. And I was like, I must've gone through, I went through all the canvases. All right. Oh no. Once, once you start, you know, you, you you blow it and then you move on to the next canvas. You could ruin them real quick, though. Real quick, like you could just get started and be like new canvas. So I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm gonna try this out and see if I can figure out uh, something that I can do well. And and it was an O for ten. So you're telling me that so t- there's more art. To there's the- more to yeah. the dummy art paintings. Yeah. Than you think, because I've seen a lot of paintings for sale. Yeah. That are just so stupid. It's literally like someone closed their eyes, threw paint on a. So is that the answer? On a, is, is maybe when, I, Andy's when eyes art, were open? No, no. When art is art is when it looks like a child could have done this. No, but because I've in reality, seen a lot of it's, that's not what have that was not what happened. Because it takes a master to make something look yeah. so easy. Yeah, and the thing is, I've seen a lot of kids art, and it all sucks. <laughs> that's like, also true. One hundred percent of kids yeah. art sucks. So I think the inherent criticism of it looking like what a kid could do, I think that line needs to get deleted. I think real art is that it looks it looks very simple, but it's not replicable. Have you okay, okay, ever we're onto something? seen art that looks really dumb yeah. or, or really yeah, simple, yeah. really easy, you know, splatter paint You should paint see these style. tin canvases I got. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, that's my point is that's the norm. But have you seen some of these? You got you got into them on your on your Instagram or whatever yeah. that you have wanted to purchase. You're like, man. Yes. That speaks to me. I want yes. it. Yes. That's when it's art. Yeah, that's when it's art. Is can this sell? Does somebody want to buy it? Does it speak to someone? If it doesn't speak to anyone, mm. it's not art. Okay. But then we have those things where it's like literally a dot. Oh my on gosh! A, it, on okay, a, on okay. A, now, like you oh. get into the high society, pretentious art. The Got fart, it. The fart sniffing, yeah. where you're like, oh, this dot. It says that the world. It's truly a place of collapse, but the, it will be reborn. And they just have this whole elaborate story because there's a dot. The white, right. on a white canvas. The white canvas that's painted white. It's like, Whoa. The nothingness. Just so stupid. If you are a pretend... It, here's the deal. <laughs> if you are making those style of art, those... If you make a piece of art, listen, if you're... If you're, if you're <laughs> listen, a painter, artist. Man. Listen, artist. If you make a piece of art and you think... That it is incredibly deep, story-wise. Right. You're the worst. <laughs> you're just, you're not a good artist. You're not. Because I think that great artists, they don't look at their- Someone else does, says, is supposed right. to say it. Yeah, someone else is supposed to say it. You're trying too hard, and you're smelling your farts, and you're like, that smells so good. Like, I watched uh, an IG clip. It was 
it was clearly an art show. And so, I mean, it's, it's in the, the standard, you know, art studio where it's just you know, very minimal, very high society. And it's, and it's a feller. He's the artist and it's, he's got like a big brush and he'll run. And then he hits basically a trampoline yeah. and, and then he does like a, does one, big, one swipe, one big swipe, looks at it and there's a whole crowd watching him do it. And then just in silence walks back and he, and he keeps on going to which I, I can only assume that this piece sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. Man, that's so stupid. <laughs> if you can find enough I mean, people was... that will be jealous of you for having something stupid then you have something valuable but by my by my own definition here then if he sells that for a hundred thousand dollars as stupid as i think it is right then someone wanted to buy it and it spoke to someone so even these fart sniffy people with the black dot on a white canvas and they want to sell it for a million dollars if someone buys it if they can dupe someone into spending money on it, here's the problem. Does that make it art? No, that makes it a, a, a multi-level marketing scheme. <laughs> yeah, um, you can conf you can get a lot of stupid people he, to do stupid things. Here's the problem: we don't tell people that stuff sucks enough. Totally agree with you. Yeah, really, hundred percent. That's a problem. A yeah, big because problem. we we started to rotate to where it's the uh, you know everything is awesome to everybody all the time. So then a dot can become art or someone taping a banana to a wall can become art. At some point, somebody needs to walk in and say, dude, you just taped a banana to that wall. That's stupid. Yeah. And then they can go make some real art. Yeah, because I think that that artist deserves better yeah. than being told that his crap art is good. Right. But if you, what if that is the true art? Being able to convince people that it is art. Oh, gosh. Well, that's called a con, con artist. Yes, and that is an artist. Oh, my somebody. gosh, it is an artist. <laughs> Okay, well, if they will at least admit in their heart that well, they, they are can't. a no, in they their can't. heart, you can't at, admit it out loud. Of course not. Otherwise, you're not a good. Wait, con is mental artist. illness art? I'm according just, to this, I'm saying that. Look, it is called a con artist. Wow, that banana tape guy. Yeah, he knows it. He's an artist. He wow. knows it. Con <laughs> artists are the con, con artists. artists are the true artists. Wow. Okay, I think you could get into that art, Andy. I can't wait till Mike releases an album and each song is just one strum of one chord. It's, it's actually just going to be all silence. Ooh. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> what could have been there? Yeah. That is the art. You fill in the spaces. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate pretentious art. Yeah, so much. man, I really it's do. bad. Um, Finn. <laughs> That's the only thing <laughs> yes. in the record. <laughs> Finn. Uh, Kennedy from the website. Is it better to eat the worst thing first and save the best thing for last oh. or eat the best thing first so you get full enjoyment from the start? Uh, I'm a big believer in eating worst to first. Uh, so veggies first? All right, to finish with the, the strength? Yeah, but to Mike's question, veggies first, no. The veggies are the one that's like, I started with other stuff that was you know bad, like steak, and then I finished with my dessert, Oh, and I just okay. oh whoops! I forgot to ever touch the veggies. But I'm you know Got a little like, too full for the vegetables. Yeah, the, you know it's the Lucky Charms thing. The the leave the marshmallows in the bowl for those last delicious bites of pure marshmallow. It, it might not surprise you, but I'm a pretty I like, I'm a proportional to a fault eater. So what I want is every bite to seem the same. Okay. So if I, I make a quick mental calculation. There's that many potatoes. There's that many pieces of chicken. There's that much salad. And if I'm going to eat them together, I'm going to just be perfectly rationing it so that the first bite is the same as the last. Do I don't want to get to the end and it's all just. So fish. in that meal, yeah. are you going uh, fork gets chicken and the other pieces? That's or is it chicken, bite, the other section, bite? It's either every, one, either one is one? fine. Yeah. Okay. As long as uh, towards the end, it's all proportionally, you know, completed. Okay. If I'm being honest here because i i start with the with the lucky charms you know save the best for last mm -hmm. and and i and i do enjoy that from time to time but in truth when i think about how i eat if i get a really nice meal i find that i am a sandwich style i i want to start and end with whatever the best is so i will actually start with whatever looks best and then like sometimes it's just the bread like there's an amazing garlic bread or whatever i'll take a couple bites of that and then i'm like that was so good i am now waiting till the end of the meal to have more i i want i want to start and end with a bang my lucky charms style because you what you're saying is the uh it's like people save all the marshmallows for the last yeah but lucky charms isn't good 
if it's a bite of marshmallows. Yeah, What's, what it's actually good is is if you have like a higher percentage of marshmallows per bite. That is very good. So I will take a few sacrificial bites in the beginning to even up mm. them to where it's like one bad piece, two marshmallows, one bad piece, two bites. Look, you, you know, know if, it, if it wasn't a money issue, they would have put more mallows in there. You, you know, think? This, oh, absolutely. It costs them more to make a the A bowl full of marshmallows is not a breakfast. It's not going to fill you up. <laughs> Dummy over here. I could eat a bowl full of marshmallows, have they never no done problem. Oops, all marshies? No. <laughs> no, but they, they've done the oops, all berries, which is great work. <laughs> oops, all marshies? <laughs> I, I don't know. What to... uh, how do you eat, Mike? Do you... Uh... Do you go worst to first? Um, Were you it, trained in any way? Like I always couldn't no. eat my dessert till the end because that was the rules. Yeah, I mean that was that was the rule. Don't growing want to spoil up in, your appetite in the household. I think it it depends on how bad the worst is. Like if it is, I mean, if we're talking like green beans, yeah, which are awful, just terrible, the devil's plaything, terrible, terrible vegetables. I'm gonna house those. I'm just gonna get to get out of the way unless there's something like a. a mashed potatoes or something that I can help them be not as bad, but it's still, I'll, I'll still focus on getting the, the, the worst out of the way. Do you ever do so the nose again, thing? What's the nose? Do you ever thing? plug the nose? I as a kid found that to never work. It works pretty well. What? Yeah. It didn't, it never worked for me, but I, my without nose your is smell, like always plugged. Without your smell, you can't really taste. Now, did you use your fingers in this? Or did I you don't just kind of close you know, a clothespin, like old school? I'm saying, like, did you just stop breathing? You know, you could kind of plug yeah. your nose yeah. without oh, doing yeah. anything. Or did you actually hold your... No, you have to hold it. You can't let peripheral green bean smell get in there. I can't possibly you have to do it like that. eat while holding, while pinching my nose with the other hand. Yes, you could. Uh, impossible. Do it tonight. So oh, I dare you. It's art. Owl found something, and it's not actually the cereal... But you can get a Lucky Charms Just Magical Marshmallows uh, snacks. So it's a four-ounce bag. Nice. Well, I can just so, pour that in water. Well, or I mean, milk. You could, you, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. You just reveal yourself, Jason? Gross. No. I mean, you could buy those and then supplement each Lucky Charms bowl with extra marshmallows. That's not a bad idea. That's not. You could mix your, your, your own. You pour the box into one of those, like, containers and then put the marshmallows in there and shake it up i'm just telling you put them in a bowl put some milk in and try it out for just the marshmallows just, i couldn't do it you could do it's it it's too sweet man wait you eat a bowl full of sugar well, yeah. you, all no, cereal you pour, is a bowl would full you of sugar. pour sugar into a bowl and just eat spoonfuls of sugar but it's not. so yes and no <laughs> um i wouldn't just pour that in but i do remember sugar and milk i do remember when we had like regular cheerios which i don't know why those are still made but um, and then when I was a kid, you'd pour the sugar on the cereal, yeah. Yeah. and then you'd pour the milk on, and you'd have those bites where you're scraping the bottom of the bowl for that extra sugar. Mm. And every now and yeah, then, towards yeah, yeah. towards the end, sure. you'd come up, and they're just that wouldn't sugar. be that was pretty good though. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, would yeah. you put some like um, sour worms into like some like some milk and just I, eat? I them? don't think sour would be as good as sweet in that situation. But okay. I'm willing to try. <laughs> <laughs> all right um we got time for one more great question yeah let's do one more all right daniel from twitter how full does the sink need to be with the dishes before it's time to do the dishes <laughs> Ooh, interesting i'm not sure is it fullness i is don't it, think it's is fullness. it odor I, I yeah i think it's i think it's time, time? more than fullness hmm. right like because i can fill up a sink with clean ish glasses you know what i mean like oh everyone was over we all right. had a, a a toast yeah you can leave it there for a while so now we've got a ton of champagne flutes or something I, I, I don't care about that like leave it in there for however long until i need that sink empty but if it's like last night's dinner dishes that were hard to scrape you feel off like it's, it's doing damage time is doing damage to that cleaning process yeah it's what how much dirty is in the is how on the dirty. dishes yeah. how much dirty is on the dishes because if there's no food particles in that sink i don't think i care okay but if there's okay. a bunch of food stuck on these plates and bowls and whatever like that's gotta get clean any of you guys do the thing where you uh you justify not washing them by filling the sink with hot water and with soap in it and then you just put them all in the hot water soap oh yeah you're cleaning them now 
because I, I just leave. You can leave them there for a I while. I mean, the the soaps are actively scrubbing. That's, yeah, the, I've that's seen, my perspective. I've seen the scrubbing bubbles. No, that's right. good. Here's, I've been taught. Here's the problem in my household: but is then that it gets cold the next day, and you got cold water. You know, let let's say you don't have time to to clean everything, and so you know you got some dishes by the sink, but something's happening. People come, so then you put you put all the dishes in the sink to kind of clear the counters, make it look a little right. better. That that's you know go to for a lot of people, I'm sure. But then I have children who love cereal and they will then come and take their cereal and they will pour it into the sink w apparently without looking Doesn't when i say children like they love cereal i'm s well when they're done or whatever just their empty milk you know they're not going to put okay. the milk in the garbage thank you they're doing the right thing they're pouring it down the drain except they don't pay any attention to the fact that there's dishes in here <laughs> Oh, they pour the milk uh, all over the dishes. They just pour the milk on the dishes, and then there's a okay. bowl full of milk in the... That's gross. And you got to do them quicker. That's awful. And then you yeah. come back late, but you don't know. That's a high level You don't level know that that dirty. happened this morning. You get out of the house. You know what you need? A cereal sink. A separate Ooh. sink for your kids to pour their milk. Yeah, nothing can go in there but cereal. Yeah. <laughs> that would actually be used very often in my house. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. I'm going to look at installing a third sink. Uh, you guys want a draft? Sure. The Spitballers Draft. All right, we are drafting wishes from a genie. Simple. Yeah. We're, we're drafting wishes. Now, uh, are the ground rules that we need to discuss? Well, the ground rules are established by Aladdin, which are... Don't uh, help anybody. It, well... Well, other than no, yourself. No. Uh, you got uh, no wishing for more wishes. Right. right? That's, that's illegal. Can't yeah. make someone fall in love with you? No. Nope. Nope. Can't make someone nope. fall in love. That's too hard even for a genie. Mm -hmm. Can't bring the dead back to life. Oh really? Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, it is. There's a and you, you can't know. kill anybody, right? That was one of the. Oh, is that? I yeah. thought it was. So I, thought it was I like... don't think we'd be picking a lot of murderous. No, uh... that's true. That's true. I'm gonna need to update my list. Okay, yeah, update that. No killing. <laughs> so I, I, I guess I struggled to determine what a one on one would be in this draft because I have things that I think are very much in the category of not big enough to be that deserve to be a wish right mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i'd still probably take them because they're kind of kind of cool yeah i mean uh, here's the nice thing about this is that we're not limiting ourselves here to three wishes okay so that's not the genie rule here we're getting total of 12 of these suckers so right. they're not all going to be the best things of all time but these are things we want so four, there's like four lamps yeah we're sharing four lamps sure all right so i uh, look I I guess for whatever reason this one came to mind first. Okay. And I don't even know what it really means. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's explore I this. hope the GD does. But 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 I I I want to uh, my um, let me start over. Okay. <laughs> Dear Genie. Yes. I'd like to be an all-powerful wizard. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a wizard. Will you make me a wizard? Cuz I feel like I'm getting some genie powers as a sure. wizard. Now I'm not going to specify. I'm going to tell the genie you make me an all-powerful wizard. Whatever the genie interprets that as, he makes me. Jafar did it, and he was set. He was a sorcerer. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. But I mean, thank you, Mike. I mean, <laughs> thank you. There's differences. Goodness, very similar. I don't want people to think I'm asking to be Jafar here. <laughs> all right. But my point is, he had it all. <laughs> like he should have just stopped there, and then he was in complete control. Yeah, he got duped. Yeah, I'm just. You're all powerful. You're the only wizard around. This show's got a lot of wizard history. Yeah. And so I think being an all-powerful wizard is my number one pick. Oh, that's a great pick. All you right. would be Mike and I's local wizard in that Absolutely. Situation. Yeah. That Most is, people's. That guy's a clown, though. Yeah. And he's I don't a like jerk. the local wizard. So I'm sorry. a national wizard in that case. I'm more of a global <laughs> wizard. I'm, a, I'm the only wizard that exists. I mean, yeah, probably. All right. All right, Mike. You, so, are, you are on the clock. Interesting. Oh. Can't wait for you to solve society's ills. Just so yes. much. Yeah, let's What's be the biggest problem? Selfless here, yeah. Mike. I mean, I've got I've got some things. <laughs> uh let's see that big heart of yours. Okay, okay. Well, I mean I'm gonna ask the genie for a bigger heart. <laughs> I I mean I can help people out because I will have unlimited money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I mean, what what a noble uh, thing you will do for people when you've got with all your personal money. I mean, just incredible things. You yeah. Think, I mean, look, twenty five percent. I'm a good tipper. Oh, you're gonna leave I'll that go to restaurant real yeah. nice. Attention, uh, Earth, um, source of all inflation, the <laughs> unlimited money man, Mike. Right. 
No one will. If people don't know that I have unlimited. Here's money. the thing. I mean, you give up, you give away enough of it. I, I okay, know. Okay, so I'm back down to 15 percent for that tip. Yeah. That's that's Andy's fault. I I know that Mike. I, if Mike had infinite money, hard. I th- he, I think he's still he's searching for the deals. He's getting the five percent off coupons. Oh, I, I'm still hitting up Groupon. I know. I know Mike. He is going to be stingy with that money. It's, it's frugal. Yeah, frugal with that money. Which is funny because if you have unlimited money, everything's free. Right. So. Yeah, but there's no fun in that. Yeah, but he's still got to beat the system. <laughs> yes. All right, Jason, you have two picks. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. I don't know why I was not expecting to be up. That's You'd think we've You're done this show up. enough time. Okay, well, this is. I was worried that Mike was going to maybe take one of these things that would render my 101. Well, it would be interesting to see. Andy's pick influenced my pick. Okay, okay. Um, my 101 is I'm going to say, hey, what's up, Jeannie? Is Dear Genie. Oh, de- I'm sorry. Dear Genie. <laughs> um, Dear Genie, I would like Superman's yes, powers. That was that was my 101. Yeah. But I, I but I moved away from it cause, so I don't just have the exact almost a very similar pick to Andy. Oh, that's so different than Andy. Andy's. No, gotta, I know, but yeah, I, I know that they're different. But it was like still a make me a very powerful yeah. person with magic sure. powers. Yeah, no, that's good imitation. S- yeah, I I can I mean you know because it's like my first thought when I was coming up with right. this list was flight it was yes. like oh my gosh I want to fly uh huh and then I was like oh, I would love super strength and then I was like wait a minute I just want all of the superhero powers the Superman has I also is that that's valid want, right because I mean yeah, obviously no, you get you get all of it you have to be it's made valid, Superman but I didn't I didn't want to take so many things off the by bundling right that is a bundle right, right no that is a bundle and I apologize for no, that's, nothing that's fine that's fine um. And I'm going to stick with me. I can't wait to see you in those here. tights, by the way. I'm going to stick. Well, yeah, yeah. You will, you're you darn right. You're not wrong because of my next wish. I'm really focused on it's me. It's on my list. At this point, but I am going to wish. Hey, Jeannie, I would like uh, the way that I wrote this, um, and maybe I got to reformulate this for the ask in Jeannie. Uh, you got to be very specific or oof. they'll get you. All right. Then I got to be careful with how. Th- I would like to look. Like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> that is my wish. What I wrote was wish Me? for Chris Hemsworth's body, face, oh, hair, no. and voice. Then you're, you know, there's something terrible is going to happen if you do that. I, exactly. You, so I'm just, I got to leave it to the genie. <laughs> I want to look like Chris, Hem, Chris Hemsworth. In which case, how am I looking in them tights now, Andy? You're looking very good. You're I looking- will enjoy the moment between your first and second wish. When you're being transported yeah. into the tights, because yeah. you're, you're flying around a little before you make your second wish. Oh, for sure. And I gotta, that's the time I'm going to videotape. <laughs> for sure. Little uh, <laughs> th- thunder thighs and tights. Ooh, I, and then when you get Chris, Hemworth, Chris Hemsworth's looks, unfortunately, you will still have the Superman suit from your original body that you have to get into. <laughs> so it's a little stretched <laughs> it's a little out. Or, stretched out. Actually, I think he's still bigger than me, right? Like What, Hemsworth? Yeah. I'll bet his stomach, like I've yes. got a big old belly. And he's got a six pack. Uh, I'll no, bet his, he's, your waist is going to be larger than his. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's true. <laughs> no, he's, you're not wrong. To, no, it's just I'm a. I'm trying pack. to be helpful here. Yeah, yeah. I had written out optimal physique, but yeah. What size shirt same, does same, Chris same. Hemsworth buy? That's a great question. I I look at him and I think like a three X. I think he probably buys a three. Uh, he probably buys an XL. I go XL. He probably does buy an XL. Yeah, I'm in because, a two XL because you want you don't want it baggy. Yeah, <laughs> not when you got that body. What are you talking about? He doesn't buy shirts. <laughs> He just walks around shirtless. All right. Like I will. I'll fly around shirtless. Uh, Mike? So that is tremendous. Uh, does the, uh, does my picks are so bad. No, you're good, dude. Wizard. I'm looking at the rest of my oh, list. Oh, the rest? Okay. So <laughs> this one's a little difficult. Um, but, like, I w- so I would say, Dear Genie, I want the answers mm-hmm. so that if anyone asks me any question. I have the answer Whoa. for it, and I have the correct answer for it. So you want Google in your brain? Well, Google doesn't always give you the correct answer. Is... I don't. I don't know if you remember a time when uh, we had to travel internationally, and we said, "Hey, Google, do you need a passport <laughs> to go to Canada?" And they're like, "No, nah, man, you're good. You're good. You're good to go. Are you a U.S. resident? Just, <laughs> just stroll on up. I forgot you about go, that. Go right on in. The, the top result for Google." It's not factual yeah. all so, the time. And then we had to rush because we had a live show in Toronto, 
and we did not have passports. And a week, the week of that show, uh, the, the uh, we were like, oh, we checked this. <laughs> we like, should Google. Google told us we could go. That's just, it's a good point. Um, I do have one tiny question about okay. it. You have all the correct answers. Yes. Now, the, the question is, is do you know this? Because you didn't say all knowledge. You said all the correct answers. That's a final, mm-hmm. final guess. Yep. So it's locked in. Are you waiting for people to ask you questions to things you want to know <laughs> because you won't be able to say the answer till they ask it? Yeah. So like the meaning of life or something, I someone believe needs I, to come up and ask it before you know it. Well, they have to ask me before I can share that with them. But I mean, I would assume I can ask a question. Can you out ask loud. yourself? Yeah. But at least make it so you have to say it out loud. Yes. Oh, that no, would no, be much fine. funnier. That's, that's fine. I didn't phrase it in a certain way. So that's funny. I have to look in the mirror. <laughs> You just have to say it out loud. Like, <laughs> I need a reflection quick. Uh, all right. Uh, unlimited money and all the correct answers. Uh, Mike, do you know a couple great picks for the rest of the world. I mean, those correct answers are going to help a lot of people. Yeah. Um, Dozens. I, I'd be curious to ask the question of like, how much of that money are you going to give me and what the answer would be? And it would None. Be- <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is no money. Now, Jason went with Superman's powers. Yeah. And the Chris and Hemsworth- Thor's body. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'm surprised you did. You could have wrapped them. You could have said, "I mean, it's Thor's seen. everything," and you would have got them both. Yeah, but you I don't feel, need Thor's powers I, when you're for Superman. Yeah, and and also, I'm pretty sure Thor cannot how shoot do, lasers from his eyeballs. And I really want that one. How does Thor do with kryptonite? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that is a problem. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're one problem. All right, I am. I've asked to become you're an all-powerful wizard. wizard. And uh, look, this one is going to genuinely be for everybody. Okay. But I just think it's it's a great one. Okay. Oh, that's great. I'm going to fix the weather everywhere. Oh, that is so good. I'm I going to ask my list. the genie to make the weather everywhere awesome all the time. You just destroyed the earth. Well, all right, science guy. <laughs> no, he made it perfect. You yeah. know. If the no, because listen, look. If you're saying that whatever that you know, you okay now it's a nice warm degrees where the ice poles uh-huh. are and it's gonna melt and the cause of well, if it causes a problem, then it's not perfect weather. You know what I mean? Like then, then it would cause uh, thank you warming and perfect weather. Perfect weather is perfect includes weather. Includes nature. Absolutely. You Come just, on, Mike. You just corrected. Thank the, you. Global warming gone. Because perfect weather. Although the idea of him granting the wish and moments later tsunamis cascading <laughs> yes. throughout the earth that is to true. kill everyone is comical. Your wish is my command and <laughs> you, you have one month to live. All right. So I'm going to make perfect weather everywhere. Okay. For nature, for people, it's it's great. That's all uh, encompassing. That's that's I had uh I, I figured I could save this one, but I was going with your yours was far more help people. Mine was simply body temperature control. <laughs> Yeah, I, I looked at how can I help myself. Would, would it come with a little Nest thermostat yeah. on your shoulder uh-huh. that you can just dial in? My 102, I didn't take it, but it was perfect body temperature. <laughs> yes, yes. 100%. So, I mean, that's, so uh, this is great. This is great news, Andy. It's going to be very helpful. Although you did kill, like, all the penguins. So yeah, there, that's, there will be humans. some repercussions. They should have learned how to fly. That's really on them. Um, okay, and then I need a uh, a third one. And... You guys, will you, you want to offer me a little help? I need sure, to, sure. I need to no know cares. how to word it properly. Yeah, no, right. we're here. Yeah, I have the answers. But I would <laughs> like, the way I've written it down is my wish is to be able to travel seamlessly, safely, speedily through all of space. Mm, See, so that's a problem because that was going to be my next pick. Oh, <laughs> so, baby! So Mike cannot answer. Uh, that's called teleportation. Yeah, but I don't want, I mean, I guess that that's true. Teleport- you want the journey. Yeah, but I don't want it to be like the math journey that happens now where within our constraints, it's like, cool, you'll be safe on your way to Saturn. You'll also be dead before you get there. So you want a an actual perfectly working Starship Enterprise. Yeah, I want to be able to travel the galaxy. How about that? Is that a good wish? Sure. No, but I mean, if that, I teleport, I got to pick a spot to be in. I don't know where I want to be in the galaxy. Do you, Mike? Uh, you don't know. What would fair. you say? I mean, you wouldn't know. Put me on... Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, way too big of an Al Borland laugh on that one. Um, so, I will say to travel through space. Let's just say that. Okay, is that, yeah, is yeah, that a good fine. one? That's yeah, good. yeah. No, travel like through it. the galaxy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a great one. Um, I mean, the, the he wrote of... space travel down. We have space travel. Yeah, I mean. Well, you got to upgrade that you somehow. You just said travel through space. Much different. The, the hard part here is Jason can already do that. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Superman can fly no problem. Yeah, through the, the, space. Here's, this is the problem with Superman. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. This Superman. is why Mike had the integrity to not draft it. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. just he's so he didn't have all the right answers yet. Like, <laughs> if I have, if if I could be Superman, you you clearly take it. But it's just it's so boring. Oh, on, uh, on for a storybook, it's so boring. Sure, for a story, yeah. Yes, that's, that's what great. I mean. Now, Mike, yes. you're back on the clock, right? I am. And you, I mean, could you be able to? Uh, are you able to draft? Ask the genie kindly to remove Jason's powers. Is that one of your potential? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in, I wish for in the world of uh, uh, Thunderdome wishing that yes, I, I believe that is on the table that you can undo people's wishes. Man, we should have just been fighting. We got to do another draft someday where ours. It's like a battle royale draft of Ooh, genie bad wishes. wishes for people. Bad wishes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, How to make each other the most uncomfortable with four wishes. All right. I hope you like your spider underwear. Oh, no. Oh, no, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right, Mike. At first, I thought it was just a, like, you know, a pattern on the cloth, <laughs> and then I realized it was probably made out of spiders. Yeah, you bet it was. All right, Mike, you're up. Uh, I mean, time control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time, yeah. Time control powers, and, like, I don't want to. So, is that you? That's an amazing pick because I was thinking you'd have to do, like, one of my choices was going to be to pause time. The, the, the guy. One of them was like, "Can I control Z and go back and fix things?" Got it. But when you say time control, yes, broadly, it's, you it is you not a machine where I just go to one point in time. It's just the power to control time. Hmm. Like I need a break, Zach Morris. Time out. Interesting. Everyone freezes. Hmm. I always thought that that power was really cool for a couple of minutes, and then it was really lonely. Well, if you pause everyone, yes, that's what I mean. If you pause everybody, like my literally in my. Notes. I said to be able to pause time for whoever I want, so that I wasn't, oh. so that I wouldn't be alone. So, you, well, that's uh, um, uh, what was that show? The, would the, you the like alien to girl. Live yeah. on a star. <laughs> and she touches her fingers In together. Out of this, oh. I can't out of this world. Is it out of this world? I think so. Okay, look, look it up, Al. Look up alien girl sitcom can freeze time. <laughs> <laughs> Mike <laughs> should know that answer already I'm pretty based on your wish. Out of this world. Oh, he we did. He we did know it. the answer. It was cable, wasn't it? Uh, I think so. Yeah. But so, but she could freeze time, and then if she touched you on the back, you joined. Oh, she you could get unfrozen. you to join? Yes, yeah. Oh, man, that's the life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just me and you. Just, Everyone yeah. else is frozen. Jason, you have uh, two picks to finish out your draft. Uh, you right. are a Chris Hemsworth Superman in the moment. Yep. In the moment, and that's the key. I mean, and that's the problem. Just log out. <laughs> that's it's the done. key. Yeah. Well, it would be, except I might look like you're also you're broke. Chris Hemsworth right now. Oh, you don't want it. Oh, okay. Okay. But you never I age. I love eating. Okay. And I don't want to look like Fat Thor. <laughs> Your Hemsworth would run out in a my few Hemsworth weeks. My Hemsworth would look bad. I would, I would ruin Chris Hemsworth okay. with my lack of self control. So I am going to genie. Self-control? No, goodness, no. I want to be able to eat everything I want with perfect health. That's my, That's your pick. Uh, yep. Uh, I get to eat the worst of the worst, and it's like I'm eating the best of the best. That's. I mean, it's a great pick. I had unlimited calorie-free ice cream or desserts <laughs> without calories, so you encompass all things. Eat what you want. With perfect health. Though. With perfect Which, health. I mean, love it. Great wish. I would feel like... If you wish for a certain physique, that that just oh I know how genies work, man. They <laughs> they look for the loopholes. They're gonna. I mean, they so they are. like you have you have to main. Well, that means that you have to maintain your Hemsworth physique. Yes. Do you understand how oh, much that guy shoot. works out? You know what I now I'm probably wrong with what I'm gonna say. I know I'm wrong, <laughs> but I feel like if I was physically able to be more active i would be much more active so oh, like no no you're could, going chicken egg with this thing <laughs> oh, I, it is no. it's a chicken if egg. i was fit i'd be fit yes exactly right if i was oh. fit i would be fit yeah you have no idea how much that guy works out i mean but what do i have to lift i got superman's powers i'm gonna be like lifting semi trucks to work out you you know what i mean that's like, a great question if you are how does you, he stay toned if you have unlimited super strength because grab like he's gravity's not a problem for you He's got to go to a how planet with you, worse gravity. Yeah. Say, so how do you and maintain muscle mass? You have to like go to Jupiter. I don't know. Maybe my muscles don't deteriorate because I got Superman's powers. You better Who use knows? your last wish on All that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, better okay. cover your bases. <laughs> All right. 
Um, man, I'm, I'm, I've got a couple here on the list. Um, man, that one be that one would be really nice for other people. Um, not sure I'm going to go that route though. Well, I mean, you've already done a lot for people. That I they have. Get, they get to look at you. I've given people something great to look at. <laughs> art. Uh, art. <laughs> yes, art. Um, okay, so mm, things are going well. I think I want things to continue to go well. I think I want things to always go well. Okay. And I'm going to wish Jeannie for the best luck in the world. It's on my list. I mean, at that on, point. Incredible luck is on my list. Incredible luck. Things are going to go right. I'm going to run into who I want to run into. I'm going to get things right on accident. It, my, things are just going to go well. Now, okay. I do worry that this could cause extreme depression. Because if everything always goes well. Do you actually appreciate oh. anything? Do you appreciate it? Are you happy? No, or is, no yin yang. Yeah, exactly. So I, I do worry, no but I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out because I think I think great luck would just be uh, amazing. You know what that would actually hurt you the most in? Is if you were ever trying to like teach your kids a game or like try to... <laughs> <laughs> you'd be trying <laughs> like a board game and you're trying to let them contend and win and you just keep... It's, you know, rolling double sixes every time. Sixes again. <laughs> Whoops. And then they never beat. You would never lose a game. You would never lose anything. Yeah. Oh, Unless man. it would be extremely lucky to lose that game because it caused something great to happen in my mm, children. Yeah, I don't know about that. Extreme luck. Yeah. All right. I, I assume not would, bad yeah, luck. Yeah, you'd lose. Or you All would right. never lose. Mike, you have a final pick. All right. Hmm. So I've, I've I've got it down between two. Still not helping anybody else. So I'm checking all those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. Once we've got all of our picks in and we look at the rest of our list, all those will be really helpful. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've got of... some great stuff on our list. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe uh, we only got four, four choices here. Right. I'm going to go. I would think it would be honest. I'm going to be able to speak. Every language, yeah, I thought every about every language that. ever that that ever oh existed. Gosh. That means that no matter where you are in the world, you yes. would be able to understand in the detail universe, Andy, the plight the of universe. all the people you didn't help. Yeah. You would be able to hear from them. Yes. You could hear their cries. Why? Yes, no matter the language, you'd well, hear you them can say, hear their cries "Why didn't you help us?" But in their native language, I can hear their cries, but well, I can't just, understand them. Look, yeah, I'll, if those people come up to me and they say, "Why didn't you help?" I'll drop them a Twinsky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, look, don't, don't spend this in one place. You can speak every language, Mike. That's right. You're great. You're a communicator. Now they can ask questions, and you can answer them in their native language because you have all the answers. Oh, the owls trying to say I. I said speak every language, not understand. Oh, oh no, no! Did he really? What I mean, you? I remember once I got a ladder <laughs> in, a, in a genie deal on this show. <laughs> so hmm. interesting. So. Uh, my pick, final pick? Yep, you're the last pick. I'm an all-powerful wizard. Do you want all marshmallow? <laughs> I've made the, the weather perfect. You have. I've traveled through galaxies, but I'm going to take a very not obvious choice here. I thought about some other things. I thought about like instant delivery of everything, right? We already got one-day delivery. What if I could just put my hand out and stuff showed up mm -hmm. that I oh, was buying? That's the, uh, what's that called? Star Trek. Uh, uh, the... the the, the, the food making machine? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I don't nerd. know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I also thought about wings early on, but you, you got Superman. Like and buffalo now, wings? No. Yeah, that'd replicator. Be good too. Replicator. Oh, replicator. there it is. Okay, thank you. Oof. We got to have an original to replicate. That's fair. Um, but I'm going to go with something a little different. And um, it's that all my enemies don't have any teeth. Oh. <laughs> Because I feel like okay. it would just really neutralize the, any any problems I would have. I got a question, though. Yeah, not even fake teeth. At what point do they become an enemy? Is it you make a statement? Is it you like you just mentally have put I imagine this I've got a list. Do you have a, yeah, you yeah, have yeah a I list? probably got a list. So and, you're okay. handing that over to the genie. And it ha now, is that once no, forever? I, the list is the magic. And so when I put the name on the yeah. list, their teeth fall out. So if I get really upset at you and, and we, i could take it off the list and you'll get yeah. your teeth back oh really yeah, yeah. so this is a finan uh, a potential financial situation for me i mean that is a a great motivator for me to be kind to you and i want to be clear <laughs> you try to put in some fake teeth they're coming out too yeah no that's oh, that's I, I, fair I, it's genie magic but i will let you put them in and they'll slowly fall out over the next day 
So it'll be kind of humiliating. Like, I just feel like if my enemies had no teeth, how intimidating are you? And not only that, but you'd pretty mm -hmm. much, everyone around you would know <laughs> who you don't like. That's true. The wizard's enemies all are the, they're the toothless gang. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I had a bunch of other choices. I'll Poverty, yeah. no more illness. Oh, see, um, you did it the wrong way. I've got the patents to cure all diseases. Oh, because uh, you want to make some cash money? I mean, yeah. If, uh, look, uh, someone's got to administer this, and I would like to be at the top of that. You guys went at such a high level on some of your picks, I couldn't go to mine. They seem so much worse. Like, I was going to go with the simple, I get tomorrow's paper today. Like the old show. I mean, mm. you could have done Because yeah, I can make that. a ton of money with that. Sure, yeah. And I got, I get to, it's almost like time travel, right? You get to fix a something. A little bit, yeah. almost. But then you're like time control. It just dunks on it. Yeah, that was a good pick. <laughs> Thanks. He had all the answers, though, so that's... Um, I also have the patent on how to efficiently desalinate the oceans. Get You know... All of his patents? All your good stuff for the world is you owning the patents? I mean, yes. it's a twofer. You know, I'm helping people, helping myself. I didn't get infinite money, so I gotta have... You gotta have patents. I gotta have patents. If I could just get that polio vaccine patent. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, are there any uh, omissions you guys want to share? Mind control. And then yeah. to be a movie star. That was one of the ones. Chris Hemsworth. Chris, Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth's looks. <laughs> I'd like to his be. Career, his, his career. His wife. <laughs> okay, I we would know like he... to be Australian. <laughs> I want to live in his house. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat his food. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mike, did you have anything else? Or are you good? I mean, just, yeah, just overall health. Okay. All right. But, yeah. That's it. Money. Money. <laughs> Great. What did we learn today? Well, um, look, I, man, what did we learn today? I think what I learned today is that I, if I ever, oh, I am about to be Mike's neighbor too. Yeah. Better watch out when I'm doing my yard work. Yeah, and just I, know that when you steal stuff, your dog is on camera. Wow. That's true. Uh, I learned at the highest level. The greatest artists are con artists. <laughs> yes, oh, that is, man. That's what I was going to say <laughs> as well. Um, I will say that what I also learned, I did not bring up on the show, but the most expensive book ever sold, worth about $10 million more than the most expensive dinosaur book. Whoa! Ooh. Always admit when you're wrong at the very end. <laughs> I learned that too. All right, that is it for the Spitballers podcast. Thank you for joining us. Talk to you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.